Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check P40N in 170 second scale from Special Hobby. But first let me remind you that we are still gathering money for the new camera and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is done via PayPal so it's safe and fast and of course you will help us get the new camera with better quality. So this is a new release from Czech Manufacturer, it is molded in 170 second scale as I said before and as you can see it copies quite famous aircraft. First we have P40N version but then we will have other versions of this famous aircraft in the same scale. They will be released throughout 2018 so it will be interesting to see what will be there. Of course Kitty Hawk will be next I think but first we have this N version of the famous airplane. As you can see on the front we have this nice box art, here you can see comparison with my hand, it's not that big box but still quite surprising size for 70 second scale kit. On the sides we have typical information for a special hobby kit, here we have information about manufacturer, some safety devices and that's pretty much all, of course there is nothing on the back side. That's a top opening box. And here is what we have inside, so as you can see assembly manual is on the top, then we have some sprues and decals sheet packed together into the same plastic bag, but we will check them a bit later. First, let me show you assembly manual. As you can see it's a typical brochure which is color printed and we have short history note on the first page. Then we have parts map. <coughs> and note that some parts won't be used what also hints on the other versions available from the same manufacturer. <laughs> then here we have assembly process which starts from the cockpit and as you can see we start with pilot seat then we continue with cockpit walls also dashboard and then we attach parts for the air intake as far as you can see so it will be replicated inside as well and join fuselage halves then we assemble wings and note that wheel wells will be added with those separate pieces. And what else? Note that wing also features cockpit 4, so you will have to paint it in the cockpit green of course. Here we attach exhausts and also fuselage half, it connects together with wings and also the tail fairings. Here we have wheels, wheels are molded as one piece parts. I mean they are molded together with tires but they should be assembled out of two house and you have to glue them together and paint them together so if you have a chance to get the resin replacement I would rather use it on this aircraft note that there are two types of the cooling flaps open and closed and then we have several types of the external equipment and of course you can assemble open or closed canopy here you can see marking options here is the first one which is depicted on the box art. Then we have one other one which is quite famous with the skull on the bonnet. And in total there are four marking options as you can see. Here we have pictures of other 170 second scale kits from the same manufacturer. And here you can see all resin accessories which are available for this kit. So there are several types of wheels, several types of seats and also cockpit sidewalls and control column which are replicated with resin. Next we can remove this plastic bag, here it is. And as I said before here we have all necessary parts together with decal sheet which will be needed for the assembly of this model. So now I need a second to open them and we will check them closer. First I would like to show you decal sheet because it is quite interesting to see that Decals are printed in cartograph, not IV print. And as far as I understood, all modern kits from Special Hobby will be featuring um, cartograph decals. Okay, so first <coughs> is this one, the biggest one, let's say. Decal sheet. Don't forget that this is 170 second scale, but still we have here all necessary symbols as well as. There should be decal for the cockpit as far as I saw on the assembly manual, but I don't see it here. And I can show you also the second decal sheet with small stars, which will be needed for one of the marking options. Next we have transparent sprue. This one is packed into the separate plastic bag as you can see. And here we have all necessary parts for the aircraft. And as I said before, you will be able to replicate both 
open and closed canopy on your model. So here they are. I will zoom in so that you can see. The only thing you will need here is a mask sheet because masks are not included. But as far as I remember, masks will be released by Edward. So you can buy them separately and use on your aircraft. Next we have fuselage house. These are molded on the separate sprue. As you can see, parts division is quite typical. We have both molded together with tail segment, but one has a full tail segment which will serve as a position element, as you can see here. Inside we also have some position pins. Cockpit walls will be assembled separately. The same can be said about air intake parts. And you will have to be careful with this top cowling area because seams might be visible in such tender area. Then we have another second grey plastic sprue. This one is the biggest one in the kit because here we have almost all necessary parts for this kit. By the way here you can see two types of cooling flaps. I will zoom in. So one is opened and another one is closed. And I'm not sure if we should remove the plastic between these flaps. It will be nice if you would advise how this should be done for better realism. Then here we have two types of propellers. As you remember one won't be used in this kit. Here we have some cockpit parts, dashboard, with pedals, several types of pilot seat, another two types of dashboard. Here you can see landing gear wheels. They look quite nice but of course if you can buy resin better go for it because resin will provide better and more realistic appearance. And by the way here I can show you cockpit walls which feature some promoted elements but again you can buy aftermarket PE for this kit and it will be even more detailed. And then we have third and the last plastic sprue. Here we have wing parts. Note that both wings are molded as one piece elements. But one features ailerons and one is molded without them. So they will serve as a guiding elements. And let's flip it over. Inside I don't see any position pins. But with help of these ailerons design we will be able to achieve a proper fitment on the aircraft. And here you can see the tail now uh, controlling surfaces, for example tail wings are molded together with elevators but rudder is given as a separate piece which can be useful um, in some marking options. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see we have quite nice kit from Special Hobby and it should be available immediately. And as I said before, already we have some aftermarket sets available both from Special Hobby and Edward. So if you would like to build something more detailed, you can buy everything together. And I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. Just write it there. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.